Tonight, new images emerging from the battlefront. Ukrainian armed forces releasing this video of the moment. They say they shot down a Russian helicopter. The fire engulfed aircraft hurtling towards the ground. Here, another Russian aircraft, a fighter jet, falls from the sky. The Ukrainian military says it took down the plane, smoke billowing in its wake as it crashed into a residential neighborhood about 90 miles from Kiev. The Ukrainian Emergency Services says these are the remains of the jet bombs, undetonated mere steps from homes. The scenes of war war Ukrainians continue to fight with limited help from Western allies. In a Zoom call with U.S. lawmakers, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky calling for greater military assistance, including the transfer of fighter jets from Eastern European countries and the establishment of a no-fly zone. The U.S. and NATO still resisting such a move, warning it could prompt a full-scale war in Europe. Fly zone? As might be just a bridge too far. They're not willing to say that right now. The U.S. plane shooting down another Russian plane or vice versa is something that could really escalate to a nuclear war. As to the pressure on Russia, not only is it unprecedented, not only is it producing very, very concrete results in Russia, but that pressure too will not, will not only continue, it will grow until this war, this war of choice is brought to an end. Speaker 1, Russian President Vladimir Putin declaring that any country or organization implementing a no-fly zone would be considered participants in the conflict. And as Ukraine pushes for more sanctions, Putin stating the sanctions already imposed on his country are equivalent to a declaration of war against Russia on the ground in Ukraine, a show of solidarity from the U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, side by side with the Ukrainian foreign minister on the Polish border.